Okay, so this is the this is the part of the product that was having the problem with the fillet, and I just cut out a chunk of the solid because I didn't want to have to deal with the whole dynamic range of trying to select all these objects. So I thought I could demonstrate this on this particular chunk, show you how you can fix this uh, this fillet product. So here's the object. It's kind of jumping around a little bit because I'm on a I'm on a uh, I don't have a mouse on this this computer. So let's select the uh, edges here. I'm gonna select these, and I'm gonna hit a fillet on here, and as you can see when I try and fill it this, uh, it uh, doesn't even come close to working. So I'm going to add a fill up there and you see it runs off and nothing works. And that's the problem that was uh, asked about in the forum is, is why doesn't this work? So, um, so uh, let's take a look and try and understand why that is. Uh, the poster correctly identify the issue as being this little tiny sliver that's, again, here I am <laughs> trying to get in. I'm just using a trackpad. It's hard, harder for me to, do, to zoom using a trackpad. For some reason, the little controls don't seem to work in the bottom of the window. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, let's zoom, zoom in on this and let's uh, take a look and, and show exactly where that, that problem resides. There's the fillet and it runs through. You can see it doesn't terminate correctly. So we'll go ahead and cancel out of that, and let's select this and uh, zoom up on it. And you'll see there's a little tiny sliver right up there in the corner. And that sliver is what's creating the problem in terms of, of the fillet. That's the highlighted sliver right there. So let's just go ahead and uh, click once, click twice to select that surface. And then we're going to zoom in on it and select the surface right next to it, that little tiny sliver of the surface. There it is. I'll click, click on that, click on that, hit the delete key. Now that we've hit the delete key, all we need to do uh, next is uh, select these two objects, uh, these two line segments, and here you'll see, I click this one and two, <clears throat> and then we hit the merge, we hit tab key and do merge. Let's show you how that happened again. So again, we're going to look at the top, there's one, and there's a smaller one. We'll hit the tab key, look as we type merge down below in the lower left, merge, and that made that into one segment. Now I can select this one, this one, this one, and network to create a surface. Okay, And then it's a simple matter of selecting the original set of surfaces and the new one, joining them, hitting the join, J for join, and now we have a solid. You can see over the right we have a solid. Once we have a solid, and we've gotten rid of that little sliver, which is gone now. It's just a simple matter uh, of basically selecting the edges and typing in uh, the fillet command. And you'll see that uh, as I struggle to try and zoom in on this, you'll see that uh, we do have now a proper fillet. So I hope that helps solve this problem. Thanks.